Hey guys, so today we're going to make this beautiful, tasty, vegan mac and cheese. Now I can't wait for you to try it, so let's get cooking. First thing you're going to do, you take a large onion and you're going to chop it very finely. Okay, so I've got some water boiling behind me here. Okay, got that up to heat already. All we're going to add in is one and a half cups of dry macaroni. Straight into the water. Beautiful. So now you've got your onions chopped, what we're going to do, we're going to take some free from butter. Okay, so no dairy. We're going to take about 80 grams of this and add it to our pan. So we're going to add that into our pan like so. And we're going to put that on a very low heat just so all that butter melts in. Once that's melted, we're going to add our onions. So now we've got our onions chopped and our butter's melting in our pan. We're just going to add them onions in. Give them a quick stir. There we go. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to chop three cloves of garlic. Brush them up. Chop the end off. And then I'm just going to peel them skins and put it in a waste bowl. And then finally chop our garlic. And we'll add that to the pan with the onions. Right, next thing we're going to add is a tablespoon of garlic puree. Fantastic. Straight into the pan. Now before we put any liquid in, before we put our milk or our cream or anything like that in, this is about two tablespoons of just plain white flour. We're going into the pan with that. And then we're going to stir everything together and mix it up nicely. You can see it thicken everything up. Next up into the pan is a teaspoon of dried thyme. 400 ml of soy milk. So we're going to go 400 ml of soy milk. Straight in with our mixture. And then, absolutely great addition. Just started using this stuff. It's soy cream. It's fantastic. Really versatile. Use it for any dish. It's just really good. So I'm going to add about 150 ml of this. And let that simmer away, stirring occasionally for about 10 minutes. Right guys, so our macaroni is about ready to drain now. So just going to take that off the heat and drain it out. Give it a little bit of a shake. Make sure we get every, uh, every bit of moisture out of that. And all we're going to do, we're going to empty it back into our sauteing pan. And we should leave that on a very, very low heat. It's only going to be on there for just a second. We're going to give our creamy mixture a stir. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. And then we're going to add all of that to our macaroni mixture. Empty all that in there. Oh yeah. Some creamy vegan goodness right there. Get every little bit, all them bits stuck to the bottom of the pan, they're all flavoursome. Get it all in there. And then give it a stir. Fantastic. So that's just on low heat. What we're going to do now, Pinch of onion salt, pinch of garlic pepper. Nice, large pinch. Beautiful. Mix it all in together. On a very low heat, you're trying to give this a few more minutes now just to thicken up. Right guys, so now you've got some choices to make. You've got your creamy, saucy macaroni and cheese right there thickening up in the pan. You can do one or two things. You can add about 80 grams worth of vegan cheese to it, stir that in, it makes it a very cheesy, stringy sauce. It'd be absolutely beautiful. Or, but what I'm going to do today is this. I'm just going to add it to two small skillet pans. Now you can use any kind of dish that you'd use for like a pasta bake if you're making it for, you know, I think you've got enough here for about a family of four. So if you're making it for that amount of people, you should make a normal pasta dish. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cheese on top. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. It's going to give it a nice textured top to it. Open this bad boy up. Oh, 
beautiful. Nice coating like that. Spread it around so you get a nice layer all over. And then if you go for this method, what you want to do is you want to get some fresh thyme and cover it with a few pieces of fresh thyme. What it's going to do, it's going to give it texture, it's going to give it flavour, it's going to crisp up, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Some fresh thyme on top, like so. And this is ready for the oven. You want it about 15 minutes on 180. Right guys, so we're ready. Mac and cheese ready to get out of the oven. Look at that. Beautiful. So what you can see is, the thyme really crisped up on top. See the cheese is all melted in nicely. Absolutely scorching hot, looks beautiful. And that is exactly how I'd serve it. I'd serve it in the skillet pans, and this could either be um, half as a side or a full meal in itself. And that is how we are. So I can't wait for you to try it. Please let me know how you get on. Like, subscribe, comment, and check out my website for the full recipe. Until next time, guys, thank you very much and goodbye.